Really? Huh? Rules? You're saying we should lay down some rules for the guys? It's true. Having a clear set of regulations and penalties could help establish behavioral norms for our members. Is that really why I can never get them to change? Because the Arataki gang doesn't have any written rules and regulations? Hey, are you getting this? What do they mean? I'm not sure, but it sounds like it doesn't involve us getting beaten up. Hmm, let me think about it. The Arataki Gang Handbook. St study They're not gonna make us memorize a whole book, are they? No way! I take the beating over that! Hey guys, Shinobu seems distracted. Maybe we should slip away while we can. Yes, if we can make them learn the rules by heart, it's sure to have some amount of influence on their behavior. But knowing what they're like, to really get it into their heads, I'll have to assign plenty of homework assignments and give them pop quizzes each day. Huh? Where'd they go? Tch. Well, given that this way is Tenshukaku in the police station, you can bet they'll have fled in the opposite direction. Who knows what chaos they'll cause next if we leave them to their own devices? I'm gonna need your help. Let's catch these kids before they do something stupid. That's the owner of Ice a Bathhouse. What's he looking at? What was that? I was just doing some cleaning when I suddenly heard a loud noise outside. I got to the door just in time to see a shadowy figure disappear up that tree. This is a busy street. Surely it wouldn't be a burglar, would it? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Come on, get up. What are you crouching there for? Uh, Shinobu, what are you doing up here? Hey, what do you think you're doing climbing up on someone else's roof? Oh, sorry. Coming down. Uh, if you're gonna horse around, fine. But you have to know when to rein it in, okay? It's darn lucky you didn't break any roof tiles. Otherwise, I'd have to close the place down while I get it fixed. S sorry We're very sorry. I will be much stricter with him in the future. If, on closer inspection, you do find any damage, please come to Hanamizaka and ask for me. The Arataki gang will bear the cost of repairs. <sighs> it's okay. All's well that ends well. It's just, if you carry on like this, causing mischief day after day, night after night, sooner or later accidents are gonna happen. I can see that you're a reasonable person. For your own sake, find a way to keep your subordinates in line. I will. Thank you for understanding. For the sake of both the Arataki gang and the community, I will get them to start behaving themselves as a matter of urgency. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll do better, we promise. Listen carefully. From now on, you must strictly abide by the gang bylaws of the Arataki gang. Gang bylaws Article 1. Do not damage other people's property. In case of violation, the member shall compensate the victim for their full losses, including the cost of repairs, lost business hours, and, depending on the situation, compensation for emotional distress. If the offending member cannot immediately afford to pay the compensation, the Arataki gang will extend to the member a loan for the full sum, on the condition that they take on paid employment and repay the loan within an agreed time period. Including interest, of course. As a further security, all of the offending members' gang assets, including Oni Kabuto and Genius Invocation TCG cards, will be frozen until the loan is repaid in full. No, no, I'm sorry, I get it now, I promise. Good, then no more violations in the future. Now, where are Genta and Akira? Uh, boss said that a fellow gang member is a brother from another mother. And we should never betray the brotherly bond. 
If they violated the gang bylaws and you're withholding knowledge of their whereabouts, you'll be punished as an accomplice along with them. Hanabizaka! They went to Hanabizaka! I saw it with my own eyes. <sighs> Let's go. I hope they haven't caused any trouble. Shinobu, you can see I've learned my lesson for real this time. So maybe... Shut up and get a move on. If you try and run away again, you'll only have yourself to blame for the consequences. Uh, what are we gonna do? Do we really have to give up on playing Genius Invocation today? We could try playing somewhere else. But where else apart from under the bridge can we escape from the grown-ups? Oh, I know! We can get Yoimiya to set off some fireworks and scare off the guy that took our spot! That's kind of mean. Although he kicked us out first. Yeah, so it's his own fault. I think maybe we should just go home and do our homework. People who spend all their time playing and never studying turn into the kind of grown-ups who hang out under bridges too. Uh, what are we? We could try. Pl oh, I know. That's kind of me. Yeah. I think so it's his own spend... fault. Why are you still hiding here? Come on out. Oh, uh, I, Shinobu. Whoa! The guy who stole our spot. He came out. <sighs> Sorry, we're coming up. I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have stolen your spot. Well, at least not without a fair fight first. Um, let me make it up to you. As punishment, I'll play a game of Genius Invocation with you. Huh? Cool, count me in. In the Arataki gang, the victor shares the spoils. No, wait. Brothers share our burdens. So, uh, punish us together. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. It's so noisy over here. The grown-ups will definitely find us. If they find out that we came out to play cards before finishing our homework, we'll never be allowed to play again. Besides, if we never do our homework and play Genius Invocation all the time, we'll probably turn into big losers when we grow up. Huh? Seriously? You mean, like, this guy? Oh, brother. Quick, let's get back and do our homework! Hey, you little rascals! Stop. Leave them alone. They're just kids. Gang Bylaws Article 2. No bullying of small children. Bylaws? What are they? Never mind that. Just listen! Violators must give a sincere and unreserved apology to the victim and make amends. Until such a time as the victim forgives the violator, they will be banned from participating in all gang activities, including Lavender Melon Roasting Sessions, The Great Sing-Along, Oni Kabuto Battles, and Genius Invocation TCG. No! Don't pretend to be the victim here. Tell me, where is Akira? Uh, boss said that homies are family, and family don't rat each other out. Especially not to Shinobu. Go on. He was heading out of the city. I saw him with my own eyes. When Shinobu gives me the look, I react automatically. I can't control it. <clears throat> As members of the Arataki gang, we brothers share our burdens. If that means getting taught a lesson, then we take it as a team. Out of the city? <sighs> a doshin from the police station told me that things have been getting pretty rough out there recently. Let's go. Hopefully we can catch up with him. Hey, uh, how did Shinobu find me so quickly? Mamoru, did you? Oh jeez, I'm just so worried about Akira, you know? He could be in real trouble. Quick, we gotta catch up with him. I swear, I've never known a cure to run so fast before. I can't keep going. I think I'm actually gonna die. Ugh. 
I heard from the police station about a group of Kairagi on the prowl outside the city. <sighs> well, anyway, the best we can do is find him as soon as possible. There's a lot of terrain to cover here. I think we might have to split up. I'll get Mamoru and Genta somewhere safe and tell them to stay put. Then, I'll go south, you go north. Thanks. All right, you two. Stay here, you understand? No running off. <sighs> you can count on that. <sighs> we ain't going anywhere right now. Yes, I can see that. But you'd better not change your mind once you've caught your breath. We won't. Never again. <laughs> I wonder if I can hide in this box. Huh? Ah! Sonobu! Please, have mercy! Huh? Oh, you scared the heck out of me. I was so sure she'd be with you. Boy, this is lucky. <laughs> I closed my eyes and just ran and ran. Then I tripped and fell, and this is where I ended up. And what do you know? It's the perfect hiding place. It even comes with these huge boxes. If I can squeeze myself inside one of them, Shinobu will never find me! Ugh, don't sell me out! Boss said our gang is our clan and... Ahem. <clears throat> well, friends should look out for each other too. Anyway, please, help me empty out one of these boxes. Kairagi? Wait a second! This sounds like Shinobu trying to scare me out of hiding! Hmm. Even if it's not, I still feel like I'd rather face a bunch of Kairagi than an angry Shinobu. I ran so far this time, Shinobu's gonna be furious with me. Yeah, I think I'd better stay in hiding for a while. <laughs>